Hi guys, hello, little brothers and sisters. Once again, we are here to gather to reflect on the Word of God. This time, our Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 15, beginning with verse 15. And when Jesus had finished this parable, he departed from there. He came to his home hometown and began teaching them in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said, where did this man get this wisdom and this miraculous powers? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household. And he did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. This is the gospel of the Lord. Wow. Jesus Christ, after going through several villages, decided to go back to his hometown. And how did the people receive him? It was not like uh, Manny Pacquiao no, coming from USA and how people would welcome him. Or any beauty queen arriving from, the, from abroad and going to the hometown. There was no fun here. Instead, there were a lot of queries, questions, or I would say there's no welcome at all for our Lord Jesus Christ. It was even questioned, where is the authority coming from? Why all these things coming from? They were astonished. And worse is they took offense. Yeah. It's not positive, but very negative. Imagine after some time of absence of Christ in his hometown, they should have missed him. But no, when he started preaching, he started doing things in his hometown, there was a church. And Jesus was not shocked. Jesus was not surprised at this uh, sort of negative reception because he knew that the prophet is not really welcome in his hometown. So he was ready for such. But I'm sure what really grieved him was the unbelief. He could have done a lot of miracles there. He could have sick a lot of sick people. But no, the hometown did not receive him well. And so what does the scripture say? He did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. Sayang, these people have wasted the opportunity of have been visited by God. They could have taken advantage of the time that Jesus was with them. But what hinders them? It's their unbelief. They have judged Jesus. They have seen him not as Christ, but they have seen him as the son of a carpenter. So what could the son of carpenter do? Yun ang tanong nila. Eh, anak lang na carpentero yan eh. Bakit ganyan magturo yan? Sa pinagkukuha yan. They did not even bother to really listen to the teachings of our Lord Jesus. Otherwise, the words could have sunk in their hearts and they would have realized these are the things that they need to, needed to hear. But no, they were all veiled or they have blocked 
of their minds from hearing from what Christ had to tell them. And so the result varies little miracles. Thank God we were not like those people. We did not see Jesus, but we believed in him. If Jesus would be with us, there would be a very different kind of perception. But look at them. They did not receive so much miracles. But for us, we experience miracles left and right. Good say miracles yes every now and then we experience God's miracles for us to be able to wake up in the morning that's miracle for us to be provided the whole day we're able to eat breakfast lunch and dinner miracle and for us to go home in safety, in God's profession, still a miracle. A lot of things to thank God for. We're not supposed to expect any grand miracles, but little things are miracles because those came from the hands of God. And why do we experience such miracles? Because of our faith in God. Let us then continue to strengthen our faith in God by paying attention to his words, doing this reflection with us. This is strengthen our faith. In God. And then as a step of action, we obey God. We pay attention to his words and then take hold of that word and put them into action and expect miracles taking place in our lives answered prayers these are miracles we thought this person would no longer be healed but automatically god healed him that's a miracle these are the things right before our very eyes during this ordinary time ordinary days yes there's no peace but still ordinary days because we allow God to do extraordinary things in and through our lives. God bless us all. Have a great day ahead of us. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.